Hello guys, Winston here. One question I hear pretty often is, what kind of end mills should I be starting out with? For the vast majority of my work, I use three sizes, quarter inch, eighth inch, and one sixteenth of an inch. Quarter inch end mills are good for clearing large amounts of material. They're super sturdy, which means you'll be able to take deeper cuts. I find three flutes to be the sweet spot given their circumference. The eighth inch is my go-to general purpose end mill. The most common ones have flutes around half an inch long. This is usually fine for cutting materials up to three quarters of an inch thick. You'll get a little rubbing on the shank at full depth, but it's not the end of the world. At this size, you can also get extra long end mills for cutting thick materials. 1 16th inch end mills are my preferred tools for thin plywoods up to a quarter inch because they remove so little material. It leaves you with more wood to work with and generates less dust. These end mills are also good for cutting pockets with fine details. You could go smaller, but then you're drastically sacrificing cutting depth. My 1 16th inch end mill will cut a quarter inch deep. My 1 32nd inch end mill will barely do 1 16th of an inch. All size end mills can be found in square or ball variants. The latter is useful if you want to make 3D contour cuts. In terms of material and coating, straight carbide is extremely versatile. It'll do woods, plastics, and non-ferrous metals. With metals, it's best to apply a cutting fluid like Tap Magic or WD-40. To increase your odds of success with metals, you can find cutters with specialized coatings. Zirconium nitride is the preferred coating for cutting aluminum since its formulation doesn't include aluminum in it. Some coatings do, which leaves a small possibility that the aluminum you're cutting will fuse to the aluminum in the coating. And lastly, where should you get your end mills? That's kind of subjective, but I'll give you my take. If I'm trying an end mill for the first time, I tend to buy off eBay. You can find them quite cheap there, and you can experiment on your CNC without a lot of pressure to get it right the first time. If I have particular needs, then I start looking in more specialized places. I've bought from Lakeshore Carbide and Kodiak Cutting Tools before for things like extra long end mills and specialized aluminum end mills. If you're buying a couple at a time, the shipping cost is often offset by lower per unit costs than what you might find on Amazon or eBay. This isn't a hard rule though, prices vary depending on what you're looking for. And for those of you living internationally, you may want to seek out your own local vendors. And of course, I also have a good selection of cutters from Carbide3D. They've all performed admirably, and their unit costs are actually very reasonable, so if you're buying something else from them, you might as well toss a couple extra end mills on the cart. This will get you started, and once you're comfortable with your machine, you can try out things like downcutting end mills and V-bits. Hope this helps, and thanks for watching.